It's time for Joy in the Journey. Thanks for tuning into the program today. It's Joy in the Journey. I'm Beth Davis. I'll be your host for the next 30 minutes. We're grateful to have you here listening again today. We've got a, a special guest on the program. We've got Pastor Peg, the mother of the house where we broadcast or, or film the Join the Journey. Uh, Faith Harvest Fellowship is the church and the studio is located there. We've got her on the set again today. We always love when she's here. And then uh, Sue Landis um, co-hosting with me today. And we're excited about the next 30 minute program. We've got, has always got such good stuff that he brings and he's the one that does it. He's the one that brings the guests. He's the one that lines it all up. And today we've got Kathy Wirt with us and we're going to get into uh, I'm thinking, talking a little bit about recovery, um, what God is doing there and restoration, but you just never know what the Holy Spirit's going to do. So we just leave it open and he just takes the reins and runs with it. But we're glad you tuned in. Take a, take a moment, if you would, and uh, visit us on the YouTube channel. We have a channel there that you can uh, subscribe and uh, ring the bell and like it. I think it's something like that. There's three things you can do. We would appreciate that. That will help us out here on Join the Journey as uh, our subscribers uh, climb there on the channel. And we'd like to hear from you. Send us an email. That'll be up on the screen for you. And as always, uh, we are so thankful for you as a listening audience and what God is going to do as you uh, tune in and listen to the, to the shows that, uh, that he does, that we don't do it, he does it. And I did want to mention one thing here before we introduce our guest today, um, is that um, we are really, uh, it's really been on Sue in my heart that um, we really put it out there that we are seeking prayer partners and just people that will cover the ministry. If that's just on your heart and you've been watching, uh, please let us know. Send us that email and say, yes, I'll be covering you and praying for you. We've got a neat little prayer journal. We would love to send that to you as you have committed to praying for the ministry. Uh, every ministry needs a prayer covering, you know, because the enemy's out there. He's trying to dismantle all the things that God is doing, but we just need that covering. We'd appreciate that. So send us an email and let us know where to send your prayer journal. And with that, we're going to introduce you, Kathy Wirt. Thank you for coming. And you want to just introduce yourself a little bit. Your camera is uh, camera two, I think, and let them know who you are. Um, yeah, I'm Kathy Wirt, and um, I just celebrated 14 years in recovery. Um, I am uh, from Worcester, been born, raised in Worcester mm -hmm. and all around the area. Uh, I have uh, children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. Wow. And, <laughs> That's awesome. um, the, my life has just uh, changed dramatically. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll give you a little background. Um, I, I was born into a dysfunctional family, mm -hmm. and... Uh, my uh, mother passed away when I was about six. Um, my father was an alcoholic, and um, uh, I was raised in the church, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and I know that my mother took me to church, and then my stepmother took me to church. Uh, but uh, when I gave my life to the Lord, I must have been about 12. And uh, the thing is, I didn't have anyone supporting me, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, we didn't talk about church at home mm -hmm. or anything. Um, and so the devil took me out mm -hmm. real fast. Mm -hmm. So um, by the time I was uh, 14, um, I was pregnant. Wow. And uh, so... I was 15 uh, when my son was born, and uh, he was put up for adoption. Mm -hmm. uh, so I tell you that because um, five years ago we were reunited, oh, wow. and nice. I know that that you know was That's the work great. of mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. And um, praise the Lord. That's awesome. I. <laughs> <laughs> it's just you know looking back. Um, at, at uh, just things that have happened and, and how the Lord has been le leading me now and how he had looked after me when I was doing everything. Mm -hmm. um, it is, it's so amazing. Uh, you know, if somebody was to tell you mm -hmm. um, 
when you're when you can't when you don't listen or you can't listen you know you're not hearing mm -hmm. um, it, it, it's hard to believe mm -hmm. but uh, you know when you walk through it it just it, it just opens your mind you know to all the the possibilities and mm -hmm. um, learning uh, about the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. and how he is our helper, our mm -hmm. comforter. Mm -hmm. um, it is just so amazing how you see that come to life. Mm -hmm. when, when did you notice, though, that all along God was directing you? I mean, did it happen for you when you were still young, or was it later in life when you realized that God was guiding you? It was just recently that I realized okay. how he was guiding me all of that time. Uh, because, you know, once mm -hmm. you um, clean your body of the drugs and alcohol, mm -hmm. then it, it takes a while for your mind, you know, yes. to come around yes. to where, you know, uh, you have that understanding. Mm -hmm. And actually, I, w I was clean and sober for a year before I came back to Faith Harvest. Mm -hmm. um, and so the just you know the, the it, it's hard to even explain you know because yes. i didn't realize what was going on at the time mm -hmm. right and how he was feeding me all of this knowledge um i remember being in the children's ministry and uh doing this um um the armor of god I don't yes. know if you guys remember oh, that, yeah. you know, when the kids... We learn right uh, with them, don't we? Yeah. And it, <laughs> and was, so cool. it was just, you know, how much I learned mm -hmm. by teaching them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, so it is, is God joy is in the journey, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Amen. And it's really cool, you know, even, even as we continue to develop our walk and mm -hmm. on our journey that God reveals to us... Mm -hmm. um, his goodness and his mercy and his grace. And it's like, oh my, it just, um, he opens up such knowledge and wisdom on how he has directed us all, all our lives right. before we were even Absolutely. formed mm -hmm. in our mother's wombs. Yeah. He had a plan for, for everyone, everyone that's even listening right now. Mm -hmm. he's, a, right. he's had a plan for your <laughs> life before you even knew him. And if you don't know him yet, he has a special plan for you. And I'm sure mm -hmm. Kathy's testimony will confirm um, no matter where you are right now um, you can be restored um, mm -hmm. and set free from any kind of addiction mm -hmm. we all have life controlling issues even now that we're still being set free from or uh, strongholds that mm -hmm. we've been talking quite a bit about mm -hmm. here and just, and just how he you can look back and see how his hand has been oh, on so your good. life even yes. when you, we weren't faithful to mm -hmm. him mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that just is amazing. It that's is. just beyond words, you know, mm -hmm. how much, how deep his love is mm -hmm. for us, even when we're not, we don't know yet. Exactly. We're not faithful. Mm -hmm. So that, that to me is, there's no surprise now that, because God is stirring up through the Holy Spirit recovery mm -hmm. ministry, mm -hmm. because there's so many that are still in bondage, you know, they've got the shackles, you know, and that he has drawing you mm -hmm. in to the be a core team member in that you know because you've got the experience that you've lived 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 it um so what better person you know to have yeah, were. on yeah. the team yeah. you know than somebody like yourself yeah. um how, how long ago was it that you felt that tug because we we kind of reunited through the women's ministry mm -hmm. but how long ago was it that you started to feel the tug because we started having conversations um when I first came to, to Faith Harvest, you were on um, mm -hmm. Nold Avenue, mm -hmm. right. and that was the church that I went to when I was younger. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. So that, yes, I mean, I that, that. to me I was that. like, wow. and I, I went, <laughs> I was invited several times. And so I, I you know, I was like, well, I'm gonna have to go just, you know, so, so people would ask me. Yes, yes. Yeah, and I, I sat, <laughs> you know, in the back row mm -hmm. and when the service was over, I my plan was just to slip out. Mm 
<laughs> and um, God had other plans. And I remember going up front, everybody, you know, there was a lot of people up there. And um, all I could say to Pastor Jerry was, I don't know why I'm here. I just know this is where I need to be. <laughs> and, you know, it, you all took me under your wing, mm -hmm. you know, and, and um, just loved on me. Mm -hmm. um, and, oh, uh, I mean, you know, it was, there were several years um, that I uh, was learning with mm -hmm. the kids. <laughs> and uh, then um, I felt the Lord tell me that I was, I needed to go somewhere mm -hmm. because I was going to go somewhere else. I didn't understand what that meant. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I knew, <laughs> you know, I knew that, that, that the first step was um, to go to daybreak and, and help with the children's ministry there because there was a need there. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember doing a, a Christmas program there with the kids and it was, you know, just an, I just, how things can come together when you're listening um, and then I uh, was invited to work on South Padre Island, uh, the very tip of Texas, at a rehab. You wow. know, they were looking wow. for women who had several years of sobriety, and at that time I had uh, at least four years. Mm -hmm. And I found out that they had uh, staff housing. I have a place to live. I could eat my meals mm -hmm. at Hannah's house. And mm -hmm. wow. so I was like, okay, this is what, wow. what you know, th what he was talking about. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I took two suitcases, got on an airplane, and went there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so you're talking about the Holy Spirit was, was speaking it, to and, you? And, you know, and, yeah. I knew that if, I mean, in my mind, if I was going to go on a mission trip, this is, you know, this is as far <laughs> as I would go. <laughs> um, but, uh, and then it was eight months later that a woman contacted me, and that's how I got reunited with my son. Wow. And uh, wow. so that was, <laughs> that was really, uh, my oldest daughter, uh, she came down before he came down. It was really icy up here. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I had said, I'll come to Ohio when, you know, whenever you're ready to meet me. And he's like, no, I'm coming down there. It's cold up here. That's <laughs> <laughs> so, a good idea. Um, my daughter only stayed three days and he stayed the whole week. And when wow. she got ready to go, she kind of put me on the spot and said, so when are you coming back to Ohio? Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, maybe when it gets warmer. And he looked at me, he says, it was pretty warm today. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so I was wow. like, okay, that's, you know, and I had no problem giving my two weeks notice, you know, wow. <laughs> and came back and just how things, Mm -hmm. Because I had nothing. I had given up everything, you know, went down with two yeah. suitcases. Yeah. And uh, uh, ended up with an apartment. It was a bed and breakfast that she wanted to rent out. And so I was there for a couple of years. And then God wanted me out of my comfort zone. Oh, so, <laughs> imagine that. <laughs> yeah. and, you too. Uh, well, he does that sometimes. <laughs> it is just amazing. Um, so in that process, I was on the website for Ashland County uh, Children's Services for another reason, and I noticed that the, uh, the foster care classes were going to start the next week. And it, this is how God works. <laughs> uh, I was like, oh, well, I'm moving here next week. And then I seen that the classes were on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and uh, my birthday was coming up, and it was on a Tuesday, and there, but there was no class going to be on that day, you know? And I was just like, you know, I'm talking to you. And uh, <laughs> so I did that, and uh, so then I did the foster care for a couple of years. Wow. And I learned a lot through that mm -hmm. process. Yeah. I had boys, teenage boys, which I had missed out with my son. Mm -hmm. So I found out what that was all about. <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, um, you know, just how things just kind of process and, uh, you know, listening. Uh, I mean, even driving, mm -hmm. you know. Um, there was one day that I, I stopped at a stop sign and uh, I heard him tell me to, to turn, you know, left. I, I was, didn't know 
where I was going to go to church that morning. Mm -hmm. And this was, you know, um, when I just first came back from Texas. And uh, I, I had already, you know, met some women that were in recovery. And there was this one lady that uh, she had kind of uh, messed up. And uh, so because I turned left, I knew that I was coming to Worcester then. But I was like, okay, am I going to go to Faith Harvest or am I going to go to Daybreak? <laughs> and uh, as I was going through Holmesville, this lady, you know, came to mind. She lived just outside of Holmesville. So I called her up and I said, uh, are you going to church this morning? And uh, she said, I'd like to, you know, but she had lost her license. So mm -hmm. I went over and I picked her up and she had a little boy. And, uh, you know, because just I was faithful, mm -hmm. you know, um, we all went to church together, you know. And actually, he was my first foster mm -hmm. child mm -hmm. then. So, it, you know, <laughs> you don't see what's coming. No. And, and if, you, you know, if you're obedient and you're listening, then, you know, the miracles just happen. And yeah. I, I guess We're I, gonna I'm just... We're going to take a break. And I forgot to let you know. We're going to take a break and we'll okay. come right back, okay? Don't go away. We'll be right back. Hello, I'm Pastor Jerry O'Brien, Senior Pastor of Faith Harvest Fellowship, located at 9464 East Lincoln Way, Orville, Ohio, 44667. Uh, we are a uh, spirit-filled church, non-denominational. We want to invite you to come and visit us sometime on Sunday morning at 10 o'clock uh, or Wednesday evenings at 7 o'clock and fellowship with us. If you're looking for a church home, we would love to be your family. So come and see us. Godspeed. All right. Well, thanks for staying around. We're back here with Kathy Wirt. And I, sorry about that. We had to no, take a, just fine. a quick break. Um, this is amazing to me, you know, because mm. I, I haven't known all this stuff, just little bits and pieces of your mm -hmm. testimony. But uh, I know that God is stirring up recovery ministry now. Um, and he is pulling you into that. Um, where do you see that going? Where do you feel like the Holy Spirit's leading you into that ministry? What I have been hearing for a while, and, and, you know, it's just those things that come to mind, and I love music. Um, I have, when I came back from Texas, I found out about um, Alive, mm -hmm. the music festival. Mm -hmm. It lasts, you yes. know, a whole weekend. And uh, so my grandson went with me, and uh, he is now... Uh, almost 25 so wow. he was still in high school and he you know I mean he would look forward to it every year and uh, so we would uh, go and uh, since I lived in Millersburg it really wasn't that far of a drive to drive there and then drive back you know mm -hmm. sleep in my own bed mm -hmm. so we did that uh, I think it was like three years in a row mm -hmm. and any time that we would hear about you know any kind of music going on there's the the fest that's mm -hmm. uh, in, in August sometime. And, uh, you know, we would go to that. And so, I mean, t to see my grandson standing up there, you know, just oh, yeah. worshiping, yeah. it was, you know, I, mm -hmm. it just wow. melts your heart. And uh, so now I have a granddaughter that's 15 mm -hmm. and she's been going with me the last couple of years. Is and she is looking forward to it. Yes, it Gabby. Gabby? Wow. I mean, yes, oh, yeah. you remember Gabby when she, yes. was, uh, she was little. And yes. uh, so it's just something, you know, that, that I look forward to. And this past year, um, um, I had tore the meniscus in my knee. And, mm -hmm. I, you know, I was like, I just don't know. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it all worked out. And uh, they have <laughs> they have these golf carts you have to wait you know in line but you know I didn't have to walk I just we had to wait mm -hmm. a little bit so um, but it uh, music I knew that music and going to these uh, festivals and then hearing their testimonies mm -hmm. in between it just that just keeps it keeps me energized mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, so 
I went to listen to one of the worship team um, at the Orchard mm -hmm. Music Park, you know, between here and Loudonville. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was talking to the owner there, and uh, he said something about it would be nice if we had worship teams like Battle of the Bands. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's been on my mind for, for quite a <laughs> while, you know, that um, to, uh, to have a worship team or, you know, teams or whatever, and then, you know, uh, share testimonies. Um, and uh, the, uh, the groups that we had uh, a few years back, mm -hmm. uh, those are also have been uh, coming to mind mm -hmm. uh, how, you know, there, there was just, I know that I did a couple of them mm -hmm. um, on recovery and then I think that was fear. Mm -hmm. And, uh, That's a big one. you know, just talking to other people about having similar, mm -hmm. um, bondages mm -hmm. that uh, they say steel sharpen steel mm -hmm. that you know just sharing with each other mm -hmm. it just helps so much to know that you're not all alone right right and yeah. I know that's been on Sue's in my heart here recently as as the Lord's stirring up recovery ministry um, since COVID shut it all down mm -hmm. um, but God always has a better plan anyway mm -hmm. you know no matter what the enemy tries to do but He's been speaking to her, you know, and myself at the same time. We didn't even know it. And then we were talking about it, you know, that go ahead. And even though the recovery church is going to launch in January, you know, mm -hmm. that will be altogether different. The groups have been on her heart and my heart. And fear was the one that he's put on my heart. And I think mm -hmm. yours was um, the grief, grief one, right? Grief, yeah. Yeah, because she's got quite a testimony, you know, that she, the Lord has brought her through. Her, her daughters were killed this right. month right yeah. December so, 27th right mm -hmm. so it, it just mm -hmm. you know it, it just brings things you know that you have to deal with and I know he put that on her heart for a reason you know um, we have several women in our and, own fellowship yes. that have um, yes. lost children mm -hmm. and you always think your children will outlive you and this mm -hmm. is not the mm -hmm. case mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. so grief is a good one mm -hmm. just to be able because all these um, all these groups are um, our booklets that are filled uh, with scripture, you know, the whole way through, yes. you know. So. Which is how we transform our minds mm -hmm. and renew them the with the word. You know, but yeah. being able to be in a group setting with other women, or if it's a co-ed group, you know, mm -hmm. it could be, they could be co-ed groups. Certain ones you can't, you know, there's certain ones you have to keep it separate, you know, the women and the men, but mm -hmm. um, that's really been on our hearts to, to get some of those going here, you know, before the actual service launches and we really don't even know all the details about that do we no you know but he does <laughs> yes he sure does. does you know because even bringing up the part where you had mentioned this this place heading to Loudville you know mm -hmm. uh, just thoughts started coming to my mind about that you know is it not to be in the church setting is it to be off campus somewhere you know mm -hmm. when you mentioned that you know because what he was showing me in the meeting last mm -hmm. night so it's like I'm just open to whatever he wants to do right yeah yeah and we know that not everybody is comfortable inside the four walls right. of what we right. call a building of a church. Right. And and really, um, church is just gathering together. Right. It's yeah. not necessarily the building itself. Right. And it's time and has been time for quite a while. And mm -hmm. I'm sure there's other um, people that gather together outside yes, of the four walls. Well, we're supposed mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. take ministry outside, outside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to those that are yep. on the outside. Right. And that's taking back those mountains right. that God right. has ordained for the church to mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, minister through. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and whatever that yes. looks like, you know, mm -hmm. whatever that looks like to the Holy Spirit, you know, we mm -hmm. might in our minds call it something, but it doesn't necessarily have to be called that, you know. Right. Um, whatever <laughs> it is, it will draw people, I think, a lot sooner when it's not in a church building, mm -hmm. yeah. you know. I just think they'll be more apt to come. So I don't think that that was a mistake that you brought that up no. and, mm -hmm. and that he showed me what he showed me. Right. Mm -hmm. And we lift up the name of Jesus. Right. He'll draw all men to, unto yes. himself. 
and I can just see it exploding. I can see people mm -hmm. coming, yeah. you know, I mean, out of I the woodwork. I can see going to where they're at, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, the places mm -hmm. where they hang out. Mm -hmm. I mean, if, if it was just, you know, two or three of us, mm -hmm. you know, and, and we just sit there and we start talking and, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, see somebody and the Lord leads us to, you know, go up and talk to that person. I mean, mm -hmm. you were sharing that, you mm -hmm. know, that you were in the hotel or something. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's what ministry is, as the Holy Spirit prompts you. And you don't have to know all the details. You just have to know you heard his voice and then trust him that he's going to, mm -hmm. you know, be the one that shares, you know, right. and, he, and he plants the seeds, you know, in these lives. And uh, you may never, like Pastor has shared before in the services, you know, mm -hmm. you may never know the outcome and you don't have to, mm -hmm. you know, you just know that you are a part of planting a seed, you know, mm -hmm. along the way, and you did what you were called to do, and then the Holy Spirit takes it from there. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's it's everywhere. Anywhere there's people, there's ministry. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and, yeah. and really the kings and priests, some people feel that if they're not doing ministry inside the church, every member has a ministry, Amen. whether it's inside the church as an apostle, prophet, evangelist, mm -hmm. pastor, or teacher, mm -hmm. they have a kings and priests ministry outside mm -hmm. um, that should be, they Amen. get equipped inside mm -hmm. to go outside mm -hmm. that the will of God may be done mm -hmm. um, as it is in heaven. Amen. It, and it's everywhere. I mean, I stopped mm -hmm. into a store the other day and it was just a, our little simple um, Fredericksburg area store, Dollar General store that they put up there everywhere, you know, mm -hmm. to us. If they, yes. aren't, if they aren't near you, there's one coming to a town near yeah. you. They had yes. food during COVID. That's why. Yeah. And toilet paper. Yeah. <laughs> And Bibles. <laughs> they, I'm sure they had Bibles. There are amazing stores. I don't know yeah, what sure. is all behind that, but there are amazing stores. But I was down in ours because I love ours. Ours has produce in it. Being mm -hmm. in Fredericksburg, I don't think mm -hmm. they all do, but um, I got to talking with an Amish lady in there, you know, and I've always been tuned in when I walk in. I can always hear Christian music playing, you know, so that mm -hmm. drew my attention, you know, so I'm always paying attention. And, and this one lady, she's just real bubbly, you know, and just, oh, I always just love going there. And she was telling me, guess what? And she tells me this and that, and she's going to have to be there till, mm -hmm. like, I forget what, a really ungodly, an, an hour through the week yeah. of Christmas, you know. She goes, you need to pray for me, you know. So there's a little, you know, another little thing <laughs> going on. I'm praying for you. I can do that. Opens right conversation. <laughs> and if and like. the other day I was down there and she opened up a conversation again because she had some kind of thing on her wrist, you know. She said, do you know what happened to me? And I said, no, what happened? And she said, I was doing something and she didn't realize she had broke her wrist. And then oh she my. said the next day she oh. was doing dog food and something else, which you know those are big things to unload. Yeah. And come to find out she had broken it. So we prayed right there. And she said she nice. was going to a, a Bible study that night and they were going to pray. And I said, wow, you got a testimony coming already. But she t began to tell me that one of the guys that came in, like was unloading stuff at the store, you know, he came in and was just telling her about, you know, he's diagnosed with some cancer. And I said, you know why he's telling you? Because he feels the presence of God mm -hmm. here. And he just opens up and shares that mm -hmm. with you, you it's know? Not and it's like, wow, we need to be praying for him, you know, and whether she'll see him again because he does a regular route or whatever. But I'm like, wow, you've got a ministry here. And she goes, I know it. <laughs> Praise <laughs> the Lord. Yeah. She goes, That's I know awesome. it. I'm like, that is so cool. It is really cool. That is so cool. She's got ministry inside that store, you know. Mm -hmm. And she says there have been people that have come to the store, you know, work. And she says most of them are all gone. And she goes, they would cuss and swear. And, and not that, you know, that's wrong because God uses that. Mm -hmm. He'll minister right. to those people, you know. Um, but it's just that it's the nature of the beast, you know, the enemy mm -hmm. of how he tries to, you know, to pull away from God's plan of doing things. And he sends his, you know, people that, into these areas, the you know, and yeah. he, those are all mm -hmm. gone. She says, but there's one lady right now. She's coming here from California and she's working here and she's got a history, you know, and a, a dysfunctional history. And she says, she wants to work the days I work. I said, I wonder why. And she, and she goes, yeah, I know. Planting that know. seed, you know, right? Because she feels that love of God in yes. this lady. Mm -hmm. You know, so I said, I'm going to have to come. When do you guys work together? She goes, in the evenings. I said, I'd love to meet this lady. You know, so it's just ministries mm -hmm. everywhere. Mm -hmm. Anywhere there's people. And we have to be tuned exactly. in like you were talking about. Tune in. The voice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, listen. Of listen. God and Holy yeah. Spirit. Yeah, because he's going to use you if you're willing to listen mm -hmm. and, and yes. speak up. You know, and not be afraid. So he told us we have one more minute left, Kathy. Oh, Do you yes. have any? Oh, now he's telling me almost 30 seconds. Okay. Wow. 
Do you have any last second word you want to say in 30 <laughs> seconds? <laughs> no. <laughs> it, it would take longer than that. That's I know it. It would be like, bada bee, bada bee, bada bee. That's all, folks. But anyway, thank you for being here, yes, Kathy, thank and you, coming Kathy. out. And, thank you. And y'all, that was a great program. And thank you, too, for sticking around and hearing this great testimony. And just be on the alert. God is doing something in recovery ministry and restoring your life. He loves you. He cares about you. We'll see you next time on Join the Journey. Bye.